Hello, my name is Colleen, and in the story of Cast of Unknown Dolo, Ordinal had almost made one of them. Monosaur, Monosaur knew that one day that he was, he was going to make the time to pay for the things that he had done to, to him and, and to the family. So since Monosaur knew that the time I loved to drink wine, uh, Monosaur knew that he could get him drunk. You know, and he always approached the man, he was smiling, you know, never gave for time any reason to doubt that he was really a nice man and that you know, he wasn't going to hurt him. He never lied for him to to know that he was plotting, hurting him or killing him. It was never lied on to that. You know, Monasar always kept a smile on his face every time he talked to him. So he, Monasar finally convinced Fortano to go with him to do some wine tasting of the Antimonadillo. And on the walk to the cellar, Fortano was coughing because he was sick. So Monastor even asked him to, you know, many times if he wanted to turn around, you know, to go back because he wasn't feeling good and that he was coughing and that he didn't want him to die. And he, Fortano said no, that he wanted to continue on. You know, he wanted to taste the wine. He, he, he was out to taste it. So he wanted to, that he wanted to just keep going, that the cough was nothing to him. Uh, so, you know, the only way that Monashaw could actually get him into the cellar was that he ended up telling his servants that he was not going to be home, you know, for the servants to please watch over the place. Well, Monashaw knew that once he turned his back, the servants was going to leave. So once the servants left, he knew that he could get in with nobody seeing him because it's his palace, that nobody would be there, that it would just be him. So Monashaw, uh, Got Fortano down to the down to the cellar, you know, and as they're walking underneath the waterbed, you know, water's dripping down, and Fortano starts trembling because he's cold. And Montessori said, you know, here to drink some mac, you know, it's it'll keep us warm, you know, it's a long way back. And Fortano just he still he still wanted to continue on, you know. Even though Marnus would try to tell him, you know, if you're too cold, we can turn back, if you're sick. For time I said, no, let's just keep going, keep going. So he did. And as he continued on, you know, and he finally got up to where he was going to change. There was chains two feet apart from each other. Um, and, you know, as he attached the change to Fortano, you know, Fortano was still messed up. Still fairly drunk, so he ended up chaining him up, gave him some of the some of the almonds to go and you know he started to lay bricks in the morrow, layer by layer by layer, you know, and Fortuna didn't really realize what was going on until he actually sobered up, and as he sobered up, he realized that Monster was actually going to kill him by leaving him chained up. That he, he finally realized what was going on, and that he couldn't get out. That was it for him.